Hello, movie lovers. Bob for Bob's Movie Review here, and today I want to review for you a movie I just watched called Venom. Be sure to click subscribe and click on the bell icon to be notified whenever I upload great new content. If you guys do enjoy the video, be sure to show it some love and give it a like rating. So this one is rated PG-13. That's an action sci-fi movie with a one hour and 52 minute runtime. It is directed by Ruben Fleischer. It stars Tom Hardy, Michelle Williams, Riz Ahmed, Scott Hayes, Reed Scott, Jenny Slate. All right, so I believe this is Sony's first attempt at a Marvel movie since The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Uh, and we are being reintroduced kind of an origin story or at least of origins on earth story of the venom character uh we did see venom before in was it spider-man 3 i think it was so us comic book illiterate people at least have some knowledge of venom going into this movie we don't we've heard of him i don't know a lot about him it's been a long time since i've seen that movie but i do kind of uh, remember the character so there there's this company called life the life foundation i believe it was and they are trying to find a way for people to live in space and they find this they find these creatures the symbiotes they call them and one of them is venom and they're they're trying to get them to like kind of join with a host um, at the same time tom hardy's character eddie is like he's like an investigative journalist or something and he's doing this story about them and all these people getting killed in their science experiments and stuff and then his whole world ends up falling apart uh, he loses his fiance and his job and just his apartment and just everything he loses it all for for trying to investigate this guy and <laughs> so i really felt like this movie the first half to three quarters is painfully boring they just took so long to get started with the actual venom story that it was all mostly the eddie brock backstory and i was just like man what is going on something happened in this movie and even tom hardy in this role was super annoying he was just like what he was like annoyed and he seemed crazy and you just you don't like him at all you just you're this should be a guy you kind of like you know this is going to be the main kind of hero character of your movie why is why is he so unlikable <laughs> and then eventually you know towards the end of the movie uh he gets combined with the venom symbiote and they become venom or whatever you want to call it and then i think this movie really gets cool and exciting i love the venom character i think they did such an amazing job uh, i just love the visuals on this they were so good and and like his his sound like his voice i loved his voice and i loved his attitude and i just felt like the venom character was so cool but he just got introduced so late into the movie it was such a waste you know what i mean and then uh then we get to the end and it just kind of a, ends abruptly like there's a fight and everything but it just i was sitting there like is this the end there's more to this movie right this isn't the end and it was over and i was just like wow Okay, <laughs> um, there is a mid credit scene that does uh, have a scene hinting towards a sequel. I actually think a sequel would be really cool and I'd be really excited to check that out because like I said, the main problem with this movie is the build up to the Venom character it takes so long and the, you, the Eddie Brock character is so annoying, you're not having any fun watching it that uh, you kind of already are disappointed in the movie by the time Venom shows up. So if we could have a sequel where Venom is already there at the beginning, maybe the movie would be more exciting. Maybe there'd be more action and more humor and all this kind of stuff going on. Um, and then if you wait through the many, many, many minutes of credits, there is a post credit scene. And all it is is an extended look at that new animated Spider-Man movie. So, I mean, like... <laughs> if you've seen the trailer what's the point i mean they, they it's not a trailer it's like a whole scene from the movie but what's what's the point you know what i mean uh so i think guys for a score on this one i'm gonna give it a six out of ten it it was really boring in the beginning and was very disappointing in the beginning they did turn it around towards the end i feel like it was too little too late though and uh i really wish they would have just 
uh, brought in the Venom character sooner. Uh, if you guys have seen this one, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like rating. If you haven't already, subscribe for more videos. Check out the videos. Check out my website, BobsMovieReview.com. And I'll see you guys next time.